Well, that's what I'm talking about. I can uh, charge my GoPro and take a video at the same time. Uh. Oh man. Um. Well, right now, uh, I just um, got back from cleaning out my truck. I'm going to pick up some pallets later. Uh, I'm thinking about building a chicken coop and getting some chickens. Um, my brother's been working on the horse fence down at the creek. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna get some more wildlife to go along with it. Um, but right now, I'm going to fish the pond. Um, last time was not good. I would have put it in this video, but I was downloading everything to the computer and I had too much crap on my computer so I went to delete some of the videos and in that whole little situation there I ended up deleting every freaking thing. Flip on over this brush ball. One come up, missed it. He came back, smashed the shit out of it. Went to set the hook, and I'm using my um, Daiwa. I've got 25 pound braid on there that I used at the coast, um, and I tied me a leader. And I know my leader held because it broke at the uh, like at the lure, I guess. I don't know because my line was still tied on to the uh, braid. But anyway, came up, missed it, came back and hit it, set the hook, and I, look, I had my GoPro, I was videoing it, I looked back at the GoPro, and I missed it, but the fish jumped back out of the water with the buzz bait still in his mouth. I guess he was trying to get it out, and that's how that went. Well, I didn't bring anything else with me. Guess what? I left all my damn tackle crap at home. But, uh, I had to come back to the house. I had one more buzz bait left. It was a crappy one, but I stuck it on there. Got him to the bank. This was probably a three and a half. That other one was freaking huge. But got him to the bank. My thumb was in his mouth. He shook. Buzz bait came out. We did go to the lake. I had videos of me and my brother crappy fishing at High Rock. Sorry about this tassel. Freaking school tassels in your way. But, uh, yeah, I had videos of me and my brother at High Rock Lake. We caught five keeper crappies. Um, this freaking jacket, man. Look at this. It's freaking splitting open. Piece of crap. Uh, let's see here. There's two of them. Uh, hold on, let me... Uh, um, anyway... Right there, it's two good keeper crappies. That was a really good one. So yeah, um, that was a couple days before me and my brother went. Thomas called a dink. Um, <laughs> this is a funny video. I didn't have the sound on. Got him to the bank. Watch this. This is hilarious. Watch his face. Bam. Hook came out. <laughs> Left him with the grass. Watch, watch, watch. <laughs> oh man there was one we caught I don't know what it was two pounds four ounces two pounds four ounces there was a tank pretty good pretty good one right there there was the best one that was it with Thomas at a pond hold up that trout Justin my buddy caught a trout. trout and the Atkins River but yeah, um, like I said, I'm going to go 
later and get some pallets. This whole Corona thing has got me screwed up, bro. I'm like so paranoid. Um, but I love to fish, so it's okay. Uh, that's really about all I've got. Oh yeah, and I had freaking me and Josh were shooting a SX4, Winchester SX4. We did a a little soccer ball challenge. He was shooting three and a half inch number twos at a soccer ball. Well, I took the first couple shots and then I let him I threw it out a little further for him and it actually went a pretty good ways, but most of it went straight through the ball. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's just get down here and make a couple casts. I lost the key to get in here. So. Anyway, let's get to it. Good thing about buzz bait, you don't have to worry about the murky water. They're going to crush it either way. I'm debating on if I want to take either one of these. Got a six cents deep crank and a truck bait by Rapala. Not exactly sure what it's called, but I have two of these. I really like them. I like the way they flash. Be good. From what I've seen on uh, videos I've been watching, that would probably be a damn good early spring bait just needs to be a deeper jerk bait a deeper uh suspending jerk bait but anyway that's enough talking let's get into it all right first cast second cast This is the um, Win Reel Rod and Reel Wrap. You can get it online. I did the wrap. Um, it's fairly easy. I watched the video on it, which I mean on their website. I'm pretty sure they they uh, they show you a video. I just took some electrical tape and taped up both ends here. So. gum it man I don't know what to do monster worm with that stump maybe maybe Drop it right there. I swear, man, I can never, I never get lucky with GoPro. Oh, oh, he's got it. Oh! <laughs> what did I just tell y'all? What the frick did I just, get the, what did I just tell y'all? He was freaking swimming with it. Look, look at the swirls right there in the water.
I can't really get them. All right, so, um, this is absolutely ridiculous. Here I am saying I never get lucky with GoPro. You know, I mean, why couldn't he have just bit the buzz bait? This is freaking gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, you know it's kind of hard to make a uh, a fishing channel. Um, I've been changing my freaking YouTube name left and right. Um, Carolina Fantasy Redneck Logic. It is official goon now. I like that. Probably gonna keep it that way. Um. It's just going to be of this, that, and the other. Uh, whatever whatever kind of day it is, is whatever kind of day it is. I've been I've been catching white bass at the river. It, like, it just rained like two days in a row, so the rivers probably screw them up. But I've got pictures. I'll pull out my phone. I've got pictures, I believe. All right, there's one. There's Josh. He's got one on. He's fishing on braid. He got wrapped up and got him out. He's like, that's why I fish 35 pound braid, man. Braid life. That's a good one. Right location. Here, I'll just put the. There's one. Red eye from the mouth of the river. What else we got? Oh. <laughs> Josh got hung up. Um. There's a stringer full. Too. So yeah, we've been catching white bass. There's one. <laughs> Send that to my girly friend. What is this? Hold up that trout, Justin. Yeah, it doesn't Hold up that trout. Justin caught a daggum trout out of the river. That still amazes me. What else? There's got to be something else. Yeah, there's another bass out the river. And there's Thomas. my babies but yeah fishing's getting good like i said it's kind of hard for me to make a fishing thing you know with um me not being able to get anything on gopro you know that's that's always good but like i said i'm just gonna do whatever um, there is a catfish tournament coming up the 18th of next month i'll be doing that Um, like I said, had some crappy footage, crappy fishing footage, uh, from High Rock with my brother, and, I don't know, that got deleted. It's been a hell of a time, people. So, yeah. Trying to find some more stuff. Ain't really got nothing. You got nothing for y'all. Oh yeah, we did have a hellacious killing spree on rabbit hunting this year. So I went over to my buddy Josh's grandparents' house and we killed 10 rabbits. But I mean, it wasn't even jump shooting them. Like some people will jump the rabbit and kill him right on the spot. It wasn't even like that. Yet we could have killed a shit ton more. No, I wasn't like that. We actually let them get a lap in and whatnot, let the dogs have some fun. But uh, Let's see if I can find that gummit going. Coronavirus. Every time you get on social media, coronavirus. But like I said, rabbit hunting was good. I just I can't get I can't get anything to work out for me on GoPro. It, it sucks. Here's all of us. Look at them jokers. Five in both hands. We killed ten of them. Look at look at Look at it. You just... <clears throat> mm. 
Cod's grocery giveaway. I hunted with the 410. Josh used his 28 gauge. And Ricky used a 12 gauge. Yeah, you can't really see me all that good. I'll just face it this way. You can see my shadow. Anyway, y'all, um, like I said, just stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to be putting up some more videos. It's just I haven't really been into it. The GoPro's been messing up on me. I'm probably going to have to get another one. I can't believe it ain't failed me now. But um, just stay tuned. I hope to get some more followers and likes and subscribers. Uh, like I said, this is just going to be a whatever channel. I ain't going to specifically put it as a fishing channel like it has been. Um, but yeah, I hope to bring y'all along with me on a lot of stuff that I do. And I hope you enjoy it just as much as I have. Um, every day you get to go out and do something is a blessing. I just, uh, we're still working. I hope I don't get sick. Um, this virus that's going around is crazy. I mean, a lot of people are, you know, like tripping balls. And it's nothing to be joking around with. You know, but I hope I don't get it. I'm still going to work every day and stuff like that. But any chance I get to go fishing, I'm probably going to bring y'all along with me. So, like I said, I'm going to get another GoPro for Thomas or Josh or whoever's on the boat with me to wear. That way, you know, if I miss something, I've got it on there. So, but anyway, like I said, y'all, I greatly appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Um, I'll catch you next time. Peace.